visiting with Kim Moritsugu. She worked with Paul Quarrington as a student and then as a colleague at the Humber School for Writers. She's the author of four novels, including Looks Perfect. Looks Perfect uh, was my first novel. It was published in 1996, which is quite a while ago now. Um, and it came out of a short story. When I first started taking writing courses, I, I was writing short stories, trying to sort of learn the craft. And I had one story in particular that had I liked using that as a base, I built out a novel from it. It's a story about a um, young woman who's half Asian, half Caucasian. She was uh, adopted as a child, as a baby, by sort of very wasp, Rosedale-ish parents in Toronto, and she goes on to become a fashion editor, a magazine, and it's it's about it's about the deceiving nature of appearances, about people making assumptions about others based on how they look, uh, and that ties in with her job working as a fashion editor at a magazine, a women's magazine. I started off doing the Ro North Rosedale walking tour because I had written a book, my third novel, The Glenwood Treasure, which is set in North Rosedale, and it has to do with old houses and and the architecture and the stories within each house. And and I and I had to do research for that about North Rosedale, even though I had grown up there myself. And then, of course, once I uh, once I started doing the tour, I had to do even more research. So. Um, and then and find the stories about each place that we talked about, whether they're architectural type stories or actually historic stories. So it, it becomes a history of that part of Toronto as well as a, a story about the people who live there. So then I thought, I don't really like actually doing research. So I thought, well, I'll use this research. I'll make the heroine of my next book an architect who restores old houses because I, I know this stuff now. So, so that's what I did. And then it became, uh, it was a coming of middle age story, that book. And so, and so the, the restoration of the houses that, that the architect, her name is Emily, does, um, it, it was a metaphor for the restoration of her own self, of trying to find a way to, to gracefully age and, and keep the good parts of herself that were in her youth and, and move them into the, the future as she ages. Kim will be reading at the Leacock Summer Festival at the Paul Corrington Levy on July 25th, beginning at 3 o'clock. Check out all the details on our website at www.leacockmuseum.com.